In this video, we need to find Foster form 2 network of this impedance function. But for finding Foster form 2, we need admittance, that is y of s. How to find y of s? Just take the reciprocal. So 2 s square plus 16 s plus 30 divided by numerator it is s square plus 6 plus 8. So in y of s, the denominator will become numerator and numerator will become denominator. Now, we don't know which network it is. Sometimes it will be mentioned in the question, the network, but if they didn't mention how to find that. For finding that, we need to draw the pole zero plot. So first of all, you need to make this in a factor form. That means the order of s it is 2. So either you can use the equation minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, that equation, or you can directly solve it in calculator. Here the coefficient here s square should be 1. So take 2 outside. So when we take 2 outside, the equation will be s square plus 8s plus 15 divided by s square plus 6s plus 8. Okay, now solving in calculator mod equation, it is a second degree. Okay, the coefficient here s square it is 1, then 8, then 15. We will get the power set s plus 3 and s plus 5 this 2 okay divided by for the next equation the coefficient in s square root is 1 then 6 then 8 the poles are at s plus 2 and s plus 4 now find the poles and zeros for finding poles equate denominator equal to 0 then we will get either s plus 2 equal to 0 or s plus 4 equal to 0 from this we will get s equal to minus 2 so minus 2 we have a pole then s equal to minus 4 so minus 4 also we have a pole now equating numerator equal to 0 numerator equal to 0 we will get zeros so either we will get s plus 3 equal to 0 from that we will get s equal to minus 3 so minus 3 we have a 0 then s plus 5 equal to 0 from this we will get s equal to minus 5 so minus 5 also we have a 0. Now if pole and 0 on the negative real axis it can be RC or RL circuit. If pole is at the beginning then it will be a RL circuit. So in this case the question it is an RL circuit. RL means resistor and inductor. Okay. Now after finding this we need to do partial fraction. But before doing partial fraction, we need to check the degree of numerator and denominator. Here, the degree of numerator it is 2 and degree of denominator it is 2. So both degree are equal. So we can directly do partial fraction. First of all, we need to do long division, then do partial fraction. So for doing long division, take the numerator. Numerator it is 2 s square plus 16 s plus 30. It should be divided by denominator. Denominator it is s square plus 6s plus 8. Now for doing long division, take the first term here. It is 2s square divided by first term of this. Here it is s square. So 2s square by s square, s square and s square will cancel, we get 2. So 2. S square into 2, we will get 2s square plus 6s into 2, it will be 12s plus 8 into 2, it will be 16. Now do the subtraction. 2 square minus 2 square is 0, 16 minus 12 it will be 4s, and 13 minus 16 it will be plus 14. Now write the equation like this, okay? Our new y of s, y of s is equal to 2 plus this remainder 4s plus 14 divided by this thing, a square plus 6s plus 8. Now for this term you need to do partial fraction. Now here we can see degree of numerator it is 1 and degree of denominator it is 2. So degree of numerator it is less than degree of denominator. So we can directly do partial fraction. So for doing partial fraction 4s plus 14 by this is a quadratic form. We need it in like this bracket. So s plus 2 into s plus 4 that is equal to for making partial fraction take the denominators split the denominators here it is s plus 2 so s plus 2 
then here it is s plus 4 okay here it is of product form we need it in the form of addition now the numerator a and here denominator numerator it is b now we need to find the values of a and b for getting the values of a either you can do the cross multiplication step or you can do like this for getting a take the denominator of a denominator of a it is s plus 2 multiply it with this function so it will be multiplying for s plus 14 divided by s plus 2 into s plus 4 so s plus 2 and s plus 2 will get cancelled at put s plus 2 equal to 0 we will get s equal to minus 2 so s equal to minus 2 now wherever there is s replace it with minus 2 so 4 into minus 2 plus 14 divided by instead of s minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 it will be 2 so 4 into minus 2 it will be minus 8 plus 14 by 2 minus 8 plus 14 it is 6 6 by 2 it is going to be 3 so the value of a it is 3 value of a it is 3 now for finding value of b now for finding value of b take the denominator of b it is s plus 4 it should be multiplied by our function so s plus 2 into s plus 4 then at s equal to put s plus 4 equal to 0 we will get s equal to minus 4 now here s plus 4 is common here also s plus 4 common now put s equal to minus 4 in this equation so 4 into minus 4 plus 14 divided by minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 it will be minus 2 so 4 into 4 it will be minus 16 plus 14 divided by minus 2 minus 16 plus 14 it will be minus 2 by minus 2 it will be 1 so the value of b it is 1 now instead of this term we can write this now we need to find foster form 2 in foster form 2 admittances will be connected in parallel admittances will be connected in parallel so this is the foster form 2 network here this is rl network so there will be a resistor there will be an inductor now if there is a combination of resistor and inductor then you need to connect that in series like this so this is in case of foster form 2 now we need to find the values for this if there is only a constant term there then the it will be a value of resistor and for finding the value of resistor it will be the inverse of that if there is only a constant term for getting the value of resistor we need to take the inverse if s is in a denominator then it will be a inductor and the value if it is of the format like this if s is in a denominator it will be inductor and for getting the value of inductor write 1 by a if there is a combination of inductor and resistor then the equation will be a divided by s plus b for getting the value of resistor you need to write 1 by a okay for getting the value of inductor you need to write b by a not a by b b by a b by a now comparing with this equation okay there is only a constant that means it is a resistor and the value of resistor it is 1 by 2 now here there is a combination so combination now for combination inductor and resistor this is an RL network okay for finding the value of resistor it is 1 by a so 1 by numerator that is 1 by 3 for getting the value of inductor it is b by a b by a that is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 then here again there is a combination combination of inductor and resistor the value of resistor it is 1 by a a it is 1 so 1 by 1 it will be 1 now for getting the value of inductor it is b by a that is 4 by 1 it will be 4 now in foster form 2 we will connect all these impedances admittances in parallel so the first one it is resistor so resistor then combination of inductor and a resistor then again combination of inductor and a resistor these three networks we will connect it in parallel so that will be our y of s the resistor the value it is 1 by 2 you need to put the unit ohm here the value of inductor it is 2 by 3 henry and here it is 1 by 3 ohm and here the value of inductor it is 4 henry and the value of resistor it is 1 ohm so this, this is the foster form 2 network